Okay, here I am trying to compare the Boltzmann equation. So, this is our Boltzmann equation, right? And this is the Sahai equation. Okay, so some students were trying to ask me the difference. Now, you see, let me first talk about Saha equation here. So, before I go to the entire equation, see the index over here. This is number n i plus 1 divided by i. So, here the example means, say for example, if I consider a box of 35 chlorine atoms here. Suppose I have considered a box of 35 chlorine atoms initially, nothing else, 35 chlorine gas. Now I am slowly increasing the temperature of the gas. What will happen? Because of thermal energy being given, the electrons will, if I increase the temperature slowly, the electrons may get to the excited state. Then eventually there may be excitations. But remember, this is a statistical process. Right? So, not all of them will be excited to the, at the same time, to the same level. Or they will get ionized at the same time. So, eventually, say at some higher temperature, suppose initially I have got, say, 1035 chlorine atoms. Just a number. Say, after some time, when the temperature is sufficiently high, out of the 1035 chlorine atoms, there may be, say, 535 chlorine atoms and the rest may be ions 35 chlorine ions so 535 chlorine atoms and 535 chlorine ions but those ions may be in different levels say 135 chlorine 3 plus atom ions say 235 chlorine 2 plus ions and rest again 35 chlorine plus or 1 plus ions, 200. So, this is a number, just giving you a number. So, the question is, how do we calculate or how do we estimate that at certain temperature, so many ions are there compared to the atoms? How do we do that? You might be asking this question. And here, the Saha equation comes into play. So, the Saha equation can tell me how many 35 chlorine atoms sorry 35 chlorine ions in 7 plus state are there compared to 6 plus state similarly it can tell me how many say 35 chlorine 2 plus are there compared to 35 chlorine 1 plus so this is why the Saha equation comes into play it can tell me so these two scenarios ok now, what about the Boltzmann equation? Probably you have studied this previously and then we are talking about the Sahar equation. Now, Boltzmann equation, this, you consider the 35 chlorine, this is just a 35 chlorine atom. Similarly, I can have a 35 chlorine 2 plus ion. This is a, the level scheme of 35 chlorine 2 plus. This is 35 chlorine atom. Now, the Boltzmann equation can tell you how many 35 chlorine atoms in say the 7th excited state are there compared to the 4th excited state. So, it can tell you only about a single species, the number compared to different levels, single species. Again, it can tell you regarding how many 35 chlorine 2 plus ions are there in say fifth excited state compared to again 35 chlorine ions in say first excited state or say ground state okay so the moral is the same old species this is what Boltzmann equation does but sometimes we need to find say how many 35 chlorine 2 plus states in third excited state or second excited state are there compared to the second excited state of 35 chlorine atom. 
How do we do that? For this case, we have to combine both the Boltzmann and Saha equations. Okay? Clear? No confusion. This is important. So after that, you can consider the structure itself of these two equations. Say for example, here you see the temperature dependence is only in this exponential part, in the Boltzmann equation. But in the Saha equation, apart from the exponential part, here, there is another place where the temperature dependence comes, over here. This is one additional difference. Next, you see this factor here, which is com can be compared to this factor. So, they are the minor differences, but here I am considering mainly the examples. When you apply which equation to which scenario, this is what I wanted to discuss.